I've put together a very unique setup of fire alarms for today's system test in the garage, also known as the SER. Prepare yourself for a lot of numbers. This right here is a Simplex 4903-9101 strobe plate and mounted on it is a Simplex 2901-9838 horn. And mounted on that is a Simplex 2905-99 Zero 07 double horn projector. I right now have this wired up so that the strobe continues to flash even when the panel is silenced and the horn is being coded to code 3 by the fire alarm control panel. The double horn projector is a vintage fire alarm device that was designed to help project the sound of the horn in two different directions. So it would have ideally been used in somewhere like a long hallway I'm using it on my system today because why not? It's a cool device. For a fire alarm in the front of the garage, I have a Wheelock 46T-G6-24-WS. It is a bell strobe and right now the bell is being coded to code 3 by the fire alarm control panel and the strobe, just like the other alarm, will always stay on even if the panel is silenced. Now as a fire alarm pulse station, I have a Honeywell S464A. So in this system test, I have Honeywell, Wheelock, and Simplex. It's definitely a unique system. And as you can see, for this fire alarm pull station, I do have a glass break rod in it. So when you pull it down, you have to break this glass break rod in order to activate it. This right here is the Kitta FX-64 fire alarm control panel. And I think we're gonna start off the test today by doing a fire drill. So we can do that by going into the fire alarm control panel settings, scrolling down to control, selecting it, and the first option is drill. So all we have to do is push enter and the alarms will go off. Here we go. So that feature makes it really easy for buildings that have to do fire drills often, such as schools, to do their fire drills. Let's pull the Honeywell fire alarm and break the glass rod. Here we go in three, two, one. I've gone ahead and silenced the panel and as you can see the strobes do continue to flash like I mentioned earlier. There's the one on the far side of the garage flashing and the pull station has been pulled. As you can see the glass is broken. Let's go ahead and reset the fire alarm pull station and I don't think the system test will be over after that. I think we'll do one more thing that I might regret. I'm thinking we'll go ahead and set both of the alarms on continuous and make the loudness really crazy. So as you can see, I just poked a flathead screwdriver in the top to open up the pull station. We'll flip the switch back to normal. And then I think the glass pieces already fell into this trash can that is conveni conveniently placed. So now we just close the pull station. And just like that, it's reset back to normal. If you wanted to install a new glass rod, you could do so with this cool little compartment right here. You just open it up and you could put a new glass rod right here, close it up, and then close the entire pull station. 
but I only have two glass rods and I don't want to break both of them in one video. So let's go ahead and reset the entire fire alarm control panel because the entire system needs to be reset in order to reprogram the notification appliance circuits to continuous. In order to do this, let's go into the panel settings, go down to program, select advanced program. The panel is going to start beeping because we're now in program mode, so I just acknowledge that. And then we'll scroll down to panel configuration, select panel NAC, it's NAC 1. Scroll down to type, and we'll select continuous with silence. And then we'll go ahead and save it. There we go. All right, so the alarms are now set on continuous. And now let's reactivate the fire alarm system and hear this absolute loudness. Here we go. All right, that is loud. <laughs> Not gonna do that again, at least in this test video. Let's go ahead and reset this pull station. And we'll reset the main fire alarm control panel. All right, the strobe just stopped flashing and the main control panel is reset. Thank you all for watching this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.